Yoru used to be trash, but now he's arguably the best duelist. Today, we compare his old clips versus his new ones. Let's begin with the oldest. Oh my god, I, re I remember this clip. This was like the first ever fake Yoru teleport play in the world, I'm pretty sure. Like, I, I mean, at least to my knowledge, I'm the first person to ever like think and attempt this play. So I have my foot up set up on attack A side icebox. I activate the first one while I'm flanking and lurking through mid. Now remember, this is like old Yoru. People don't even like, people weren't even processing like the fact that this play was impossible. So I kill the Phoenix, right? I have another set of footsteps over there, but I, I, now, let me pause it really quick because this is a really important play. Fake teleporting doesn't exist in this time frame. So I teleport in place to just let the teleport sound go off in general because I know they'll hear the teleport sound. They don't know where it's at, but I know they'll hear it. Then I activate my other footsteps to make it seem like I teleported to where my footsteps were and get the kill. Biggest brain in the world! <laughs> I was so proud of that play, man. I literally think that's like the world's first fake teleport play. Like, way before they even thought about adding it. Oh my god, the old Funk videos. I like this too. The classic bind uh, footsteps or slash clone play. This is, this is a common one. Nice little like flash line up here for the, to open the door up. Kind of messed it up still. Hot sky dogging. Oh, wait, I was dis- Wait, I was clean. Wait, my hair looks so good in this clip. Wait, how did I used to do my hair like that? What the? Okay, okay. Good one-way flash. Nice, yep. Very solid one-way flash right there. If somebody's ever flanking you on Icebox, really good one-way flash. We got a 1v4 clutch. I remember this play too. Damn, but dude, I kind of missed the Reaver Vandal actually. Yep, classic. Ult to grab the spike. TP to B site. Plant. And then... I know that they're approaching from CT, so I use my footsteps on site to make them think that I'm like on site, right? Because you can hear like the wet foot noise sound. But I'm actually aggressing CT and go for a pop flash. Pop flash is a little weak here. I could have uh, made that a lot more undodgeable, but this is when I first started playing Yoru. Oh, that TP was kind of risky, not gonna lie. Thank God Jet didn't drop yet. Nice. Now I know because I killed Jet, Brim probably hopped off the tap. Yep. Now you, dude, you can't see shit. An old yo or old. Like, you can't see anything. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I'm cringing so hard, bro. These old pop flashes were so bad. Like, dude, am I... Dude, I must be... I mean, I know this is like immortal at the time, but like... What is this pop flash? This is so dodgeable. How did, how did I even get Sobo with that? In today's Valorant, Sobo would dodge that. Oh my god, the spray transfer. Wait, I'm different. Perfect. Okay, that, that was a good pop flash. Oh my god, bro. Old classic right click was disgusting. Dude, this dude, old classic right click was literally what like modern day Bucky is. So I send my footsteps towards CT, knowing that they'll look CT, and then I actually push heaven for a nice flank kill in the raise here. Beautiful. So here I'm setting up my footsteps in garage. I actually don't do this play a lot anymore, but I act it's for the post plant. I activated my footsteps to garage. I know she'll hear it. Or Sova did. So I got the free two kills there. Nice. I'm going for a flash lineup play. There's actually. <laughs> I actually just updated this flash TP lineup in my uh, master class. So I don't promo. I, dude, I know I promo it in every single video, dude. What? Okay, dude. I'm, I'm proud of it, man. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, I'm different. Wait, Ulten, it's over. Ulten, it's over. Oh! Oh, invincibility frames. Please come back. Invincibility frames. Please save us. Bro, please come back. Okay, still no fake TP at the time. Yep. So right now, I'm literally... I just TP because I know that if I TP... Jet will instantly hop off the spike because she thinks I'm trying to make a play on her. A little one tap. Some light. Good one-way flash. I still use this one to this day. Nice. I like this play too. Rush down short. Nice. Oh my god. Old icebox. Back when the map didn't make me want to jump off a cliff in Minecraft. <clears throat> Dude, people used to be so bad. Oh my, bro, the things you could get away with with, with old Yo World is insane. Oh, <gasps> one bullet. I remember this play. Oh, bro, I used to be disgust. I did honestly, bro. This is when I was grinding Valorant like all day, every day, man. 
Yep, a little spawn TP here. Nice. This spawn TP is still really good. Now I have the perfect flank on them both. Yep, set up a TP. 30 HP, so I'm just faking. I'm just stalling here. I'm literally just stalling as much as I can. But she has half, so I gotta, I gotta kind of push. Nice, dude. I'm like hyping like my old self up. Good shit, Rob. Oh, I actually learned this play from Ethos, actually. So you set up your, your clone in the top of uh, rafts here on Fractured and Sands. And then as they're pushing, you activate it to open the door and get their attention. Then you go for a pop flash play. Yep, there's the clone opening the door. They shoot it and you swing. Yep. Nice. Oh my god, wait, is this the is this the the world's first Yade combo? This is when Fade first dropped. Yep. So I have Blake tether the chamber that I TP on him. Oh my god, this play is so perfect. Oh my god. Dude, this, this is one of my first videos to ever like pop off. This video like low-key made me. Okay, we got a nice like TP going towards Snowman, but I take it early because of the Viper flash. Nice. Okay, we're setting up a TP back site here. I know two are flank and then one's on triple. So I'm going to go for the flash on the guy triple probably and take the TP. If I had to guess. Yeah. I'm flashing out. Yep. Oh my god, I remember this play. Flash the planter. Pick up the... Oh! Dude, bro, oh my god, bro. Dude, that play was so... I, I gotta just take a breather. That play was so good. Like, I ran out of bullets, picked up, picked up the Vandal. Like, oh my god. To be honest, though, like, old Yoru, it was so much easier to get away with plays like this. Because, like, people just, like... Dude, Yoru was so underrated at the time. People, like, didn't even, like, know what the character did. Like, people would play against Yoru and just, like, just hear, like teleport sounds and footsteps going off and they just like freak out like they had no idea how to react to it so like getting plays like that was so common because people just didn't know what they were playing against nowadays people are like way more aware like same thing with the yade combo right here right like nowadays this combo everybody would be turning around looking at their back but like old like like nobody not a single person turns around like nowadays bro like the second like me and blake have popularized like the yade combo so much like the seconds like the fade and your old both go off people are just doing like 360s checking their back waiting for me to unult on them man dude like prime yoru rework was so good bro this is like prime valorant to me when yoru first got reworked okay one's following me into elbow nice nice kill the sky because you heard my tp she'd swing me i knew she'd swing me okay 1v1 on brim here i just need to play time Yep, back up. I know Brim's got half here, so I'm kind of just, again, still just trying to play time, but he hard stuck it. Nice. Thank God I swung that. Yep, good little flash TP. Again, like, people are just eating the flashes. Nice headshot on Jet there and Omen. Like, dude, like, I'm just full flashing everybody. Oh, wait, we got the flex into reaction. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yuri's going fucking demonic mode, bro. Nah, I remember that, man. It, this this happens with every competitive game, but like as time goes on, like the skill floor just gets higher and higher. Old Immortal is modern day diamond. Like, because like the, the skill floor just gets higher and higher. Like now, like even gold players will like turn Yoro flashes. <laughs> man, I love Haven, man. This is like this is like such a good Yoro map. I don't like I don't care what anybody says, like Haven is such a good Yoro map. <laughs> Flash TP combo into the fade tether. Like, look at that. They're full blind. They're just eating, like, the world's worst pop flashes. Like, dude, I'm telling you, like, like the skill floor in Valorant is just, like, so much higher now. You used to get, be able to get away with anything. So this one-way flash on C-Long is still good to this day, by the way. This flash still works. Okay, so I know Rain is peeking. I know Rain is, like, pushing with her flash. Little collat there. Fake TP on the omen. Yeah, but I'm 30 HP, so I just got to go for the ult here. Yep, send a TP long. They know they know somebody's garage here. Unult to get their attention, but fake TP long to mask my unult. 
Sova's peeking out a garage, so I know he's got his attention. They still think I'm long, remember, because they heard the TP. Beautiful. That is how you properly use the old phone. The old fashioned way. People forget that you can use the clone like as footsteps, though. You don't always have to like have to Real. So in this play, this was very shortly after Yoro got his clone ability. And everyone was just like, oh, you have to clone to Flash. You have to clone to Flash. But you can still use the clone that you can still use the clone to make noise, like old footsteps used to be. Um, like in some of the earlier clips. So I send my clone into tree here, and then I swing from heaven because I know Silva would think I'm pushing tree with the clone noise. So very old school play with the new school Yoru. <clears throat> nice. Oh my god. I remember this ace. Wonderful. Honestly, if you're going to take anything away from this video, it's that like maximizing your flashes with Yoru is like probably one of the most important skills to learn. Like, yeah, like TP timings and like learning everything all in like together is like super, super, super important. But learning how to use your flashes to their max potential is like probably one of the most, it, it is the most important Yoru skill to learn besides your TP. The fake clone. <laughs> fake cloning against ops is like one of the easiest ways to get a fake clone off against ops, probably. Yep. This this is a really good flash TP lineup for B long here. Dude, that's insane. I have spike. I have spike. I have spike. Wait, that's one. Then I just get a nasty flank off another respawn. Oh my god, that shot was like super close. Good fade to the bro. Dude, me and Blake gotta run up the duo again one time. I gotta get Bla I gotta get Blake back into Valorant. We used to run this shit, bro. I have a TP and spawn here. Yep. Free take because I know that with the Brim ult, I can take it for free. Yep. Blocking the deadlock with Yoro clone. Get countered. Easy. Yep. <laughs> There's just no way Sage lost that, dude. <laughs> the clone to stop the deadlock gold? Are you kidding? That was so insane. <laughs> Massive Yoro brain play. Holy sh So another important um, thing about that play is the reason why I instantly took my TP is because I know that when I killed these two people heaven, that there was a good chance that the next person was going to be playing tree because there's no way they all three are going to push out of heaven. So if I take my TP, I know I can start looking for the next guy on uh, tree side, which happens to the stage here perfectly. The classic Lotus triple flash. Oh my god. I mean, that place just doesn't get old. GG, <laughs> he says. It just tilts people so hard, too. As you can see, Yoru has changed a lot, and it's difficult to keep up with every change. In my Yoru Masterclass, we discuss all the new changes and also figure out new Yoru techs and strategies. It's currently 50% off, but only for the next 50 members or so, so click the link in the description to join the best Yoru resource on the internet. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And if you want to master Yoru, join the Masterclass. Link in the description.